What's going on guys? It is DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I have a special product right here from my friends at Sennheiser which are celebrating their 75th anniversary. But first off obviously we're going to unbox the headphones that are in this dope like bag that they come in and then secondly I'm going to basically give them my first initial impressions, my first listening experience with them and then third I'm going to use these for a few days DJing, doing some live streams because we're not doing events right now and give them basically a full workhorse run through in my like DJ life to see how good they are. Which speaking of workhorse, the headphones inside this box right here are the HD25s. These have been a workhorse for the music industry, very popular in the music industry since the 90s, which is pretty impressive. And Sennheiser decided for their 75th anniversary to take the HD25s and create a limited run of 2,500 units and give them a completely retro touch that you're gonna see in this video. And they are shipping them randomly to HD25 buyers. So you personally, if you bought a pair of HD25s, could randomly get one of these custom 75th anniversary HD 25s, which is awesome. But I have one right here with me today. So shout out to Sennheiser for sending me over a pair. Let's get on into the unboxing. First off, 75 years, that's dope, that's crazy. Sennheiser has been in business for 75 years. Let's go ahead, let's open up the bag. We got the, some goodies inside. Oh, there's the retro packaging. All right, so let's pull these out of the box real quick. This is that retro packaging I was mentioning. It's basically mimicking the same packaging from their original headphones that Sennheiser put out, the 414s, back in 1968. There on the back, limited edition. This kind of gives you a little breakdown of what they're gonna look like. They got the yellow cups, which was found on the original 414s. Dope. All right, let's set that aside for the second. Let's open up this other package real quick that Sennheiser sent me over. We got a little keychain here from Sennheiser. This is your crew, 75 years, dope. And then we have a Sennheiser mug right here. So this is a textured porcelain cup. Very dope, very dope. That aside, let's jump on into the HD25s. So we slide off the cover and we see the HD25s. You ready, ready, ready? There they are, the Sennheiser HD25s in the retro yellow cups. Pull the headphones out, set them to the side. What else do we got in the box? It also comes with black earmuffs if you do not like the retro yellow ones. And then a manual. So here are the headphones themselves. This is the first time for me personally seeing the HD25s. I've never actually used a pair of these. But they got this cool little split top design thing here to make it more comfortable on your head to split it up and be in different positions. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Earmuffs. They have a little flexibility to them so you can customize the fit to your head. And then on the headphone jack side, we have a quarter inch adapter already on, which is screw on, nice to see. And then we have our standard 3.5 millimeter as well. So we have both options to use. Let's go ahead and let's put on these headphones and give them the first initial listen. Transitioning over to my DJ setup area for live streaming and all that fun stuff right now and practicing. This is the best place to test out the Sennheiser HD 25's retro 75th anniversary. Even being as popular as they are, I've never actually personally listened to a pair of these. I know a couple of my friends actually use these for like DJing and stuff, um, but I've never actually personally heard them before. So first thing I gotta start off with the feel of the headphones. So let's uh, go ahead and put these on real quick. These are an on-ear experience, so they sit on your ear, they don't wrap around it. They do block out quite a bit of noise as I'm talking right now, but I definitely can hear around me. And I do have monitors, so I will be able to tell how much noise feedback there is. So now I'm gonna listen to the first song for the first time with each D25. You get pretty loud. All right, 
initial impressions on the HD 25s, they are exactly what they say they are, a monitor style headphones. These things are very accurate in terms of their high, mid, and low. They're not really adding anything to the lows, or the highs, or the mids. It's literally identical to the track for the most part. The HD 25s definitely have some high output. I just for, just for experimental purposes, uh, increased the volume significantly on these headphones and they did not really start to the store until I was really really pushing these things uh, way more than what I would actually be listening to these. For me about 12 o'clock on my headphone dial was comfortable for me at a zero dB output. If I put it all the way like literally cranked all the way up that's when it finally started to distort. At three quarters turn, sounded perfectly fine, was super loud, like way too loud for me. So first initial impressions, definitely have some very high output and they are very accurate in terms of the sound that they're reproducing. So I'm gonna leave the HD25s right here with my DJ setup and I'm gonna use them over the next couple of days, see how I like them in terms of the feel over the ear, the sound, just mixing with them compared to like the headphones I'm used to, which are my Vmodas. Just, just overall give a good, uh, test basically a real world test of what I think of these headphones and then I will fill you guys back in in a couple days Well, it's been a solid three days now of using the headphones I've used them in multiple live streams now and also in multiple practice sessions just getting a feel for how I like the headphones, the feel, the comfort, and I gotta be honest, surprisingly for this being an on-ear headphone, I'm not normally a fan of on-ear headphones just because they, they put a lot of pressure on your ear because they're on your ear. These didn't really like fatigue my ears at all. Like they were, they're comfortable. The padding is soft enough and the clamping force is enough to keep them on your ears, but it's not like a lot, at least for my head. And I didn't find any fatigue with that, so two thumbs up for that. One thing I can't complain about is the output of these headphones. These headphones, like I said at the beginning, get very, very loud and they can do it without like distorting or clipping in the headphones. I really appreciate being able to push the volume level and simulate an actual like DJ scenario, even though I'm doing a live stream, but being able to push these things basically to a very high output, which is probably not the best thing for my hearing, but uh, either way, they're able to do very loud output with a very clean signal, which I like a lot. So yeah, that's a little unboxing and first trial of the HD 25s from Sennheiser. Again, my first time actually getting to use these and hear these. Comfort wise, they're great. Output wise, they're great. Audio quality wise, it's a great representation for a monitor headphone. Me personally, I like to have a little more bass, but again, my personal opinion. I really like it. Shout out to Sennheiser for sending me over one of the 25,000 75th anniversary Sennheiser HD 25s, the limited edition ones. These things are super dope. I really do dig the yellow cups. They stand out, they look really cool. So uh, again, if you guys want to get a pair of these, the limited edition ones are basically gonna be shipped to random buyers of the HD 25s. So yeah, if you buy a pair, you might be able to get the limited edition pair yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the limited edition Sennheiser HD 25s. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys wanna check them out. Big shout out to Sennheiser on 75 years in business. That's a big accomplishment for any company in the audio entertainment space. Like always guys, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. And like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them record spinning and I will see you guys next time. Peace.